The principles of inertia is explained in Newton's first law of motion. It says that a body continues to maintain its state of rest or of uniformed motion unless acted upon by an external unbalanced force. Anyone who has ever held a gyroscope in their hand will have felt inertia in the form of resistance to any change in the axis of rotation. Modern physics has no explanation for inertia and why the natural state of matter is continuous motion and dynamic. In a new theory called quantum atom theory, the principle of inertia is linked to the same universal and continuous process that forms gravity. If our eyes were more sensitive to the light, we would be able to see this process in the form of everything radiating light waves of electromagnetic radiation continuously. The atoms interact with the light waves relative to their own energy or mass. In this theory, we see and feel this process of continuous energy exchange, continuous change, as the flow of time itself, photon oscillation by photon oscillation. Objects create their own time by slowing up the rate that time flows relative to their energy or mass, forming their own space-time. This imbalance between reference frames will radiate out in the direction of the motion of the object, forming momentum and what we see and feel as inertia. In this theory, the universal force of gravity is formed by the same process. Newton's apple does not fall to the ground because of the downward force of gravity, but because of the upward momentum of electromagnetic radiation or light. Gravity is not a real force at all. Objects just free fall towards the greatest mass or energy because they have the slowest rate or flow of time. This can be seen if we lower the energy in an individual reference frame all the way down to absolute zero. At absolute zero, the force of gravity will disappear. The light photon oscillations or vibrations that form the movement of electric charge and the flow of electromagnetic fields will stop. The electromagnetic fields will lock together and the and there will be no electrical potential within that individual reference frame. There is also no gravitational potential within the reference frame. In this theory, this is because gravity is a secondary force to the electromagnetic force. As soon as the energy increases, the force of gravity will reappear because photon oscillations will form with the movement of electric charge and the flow of electromagnetic fields and over a period of time the object will free fall towards the greatest energy or mass with a built-in potential uncertainty of momentum and position. Therefore we can see that the electrical potential, the gravitational potential and the future potential of the object's position and momentum are linked by one universal process. Even when the object is not moving there is still continuous energy exchange, continuous movement because of the wave-like nature of space and time. This process creates a blank canvas that we can interact with from the center of our own reference frame, turning the possible into the actual. The atoms of the hand and eye will collapse the waves of light into photon energy, just like any other object, creating their own future reference frame. In this theory, it is not just beauty that is in the eye of the beholder, but creation itself.